you guys. Hopefully you can hear me out there. I'm gonna give a few minutes for people to pop on and I'm going to do a live guided, kind of a blended shamatha meditation practice with you today. Yesterday was National Body Appreciation Day. We get to enjoy running around in these little Ferraris, these little bags of bones and um, we have all these stories about them of uh, they're not good enough or I'm too fat or I'm too sick or I'm too this or I'm too that and it's good sometimes to re be reminded that we write that script that we write that story that's our story but it can also be unwritten rewritten um, and so we're gonna do a little bit of rewrite of the story in our heads about our bodies in this meditation. Also, we have, I want to talk to you about a few other things about the body. We also have this kind of old archaic thinking about the body, about experiencing pleasure and joy in the body of that being, you know, traditionally in archaic religious kind of settings as um, we're not supposed to experience pleasure. We don't really, not really taught how to experience pleasure in these bodies. This is really what these bodies can do is bring us pleasure. And um, the fullness of the moment in, in terms of that. So there's been kind of a negative connotation on the body and the sensations of pleasure in the body there. And then also we are literally getting dragged around by our sense doors all day long and not conscious of that. Our sense of taste, touch, sight, sound, smell. For example, we go outside, feel cold air in our body, and we're like, oh, I don't like this. I don't know. Uh, uh, we go back into our memory banks, and it's like, oh, cold, you shiver, you don't like to be out in the cold, so we don't like that. We don't. And then there's our reaction. We're all constantly, is that good or is that bad? Is that touch good? Is that touch bad? Is that taste good? Is that taste bad? Um, am I seeing something ugly? Am I seeing something pretty? It's like we're constantly stuck in, in a kind of a weird, repetitive, habitually repetitive conditioned place with our senses. So as we do this meditation, I'm going to invite you to sit with whatever sense, sensation, whatever comes up in terms of allowing a newness, a freshness to come up. So like if a sensation comes up instead of like, you may go to that first thought of judgment of, oh, that's pain or that's this or that's heat or that's that. Start to really get curious and break it down. It's like, okay, what is that? Is it a vibration? Is it a sensation? Is it strong? Is it dull? Is it this? Is it that? Start to get curious about the sensations in your body and seeing what comes up. So. Find a comfortable spot, and if you can, let people know that you are going to be meditating for the next 10 or 15 minutes, and that this is your time, and that this is your space, this gift that you're giving yourself, and ask them to honor that, and just be quiet, and allow you to have that space, or go into a room where you can be quiet, and have that space for yourself. Hold a space for your meditation, for your practice, so that you can practice effectively. Um, and then find a comfortable seat at wherever you can sit upright with the spine. It can be in a chair, feet on the floor, it can be cross-legged, whatever. Just find a comfortable upright position with the spine. If you need to support yourself by pillows or bolsters, or whatever, just grab those. And ideally, you wanna allow the natural curves of the spine as your uh, lumbar curves in, and as your cervical spine kind of curves in we're just going to kind of relax and come into the naturalness of an upright spine give a little wiggle maybe and oh, get a yawn and a stretch before we get into the body really get into the body this is part of it of like oh this feels good to stretch to open up to feel the space in the shoulders to feel the space in the neck if you spread the shoulder blades apart and open up in that area and just kind of play around a little bit in your upper body here just feeling that upper body ah, 
and it's okay to come into any places of tightness or tension and just feel that and sit with that and, and be with that without judgment. Maybe a yawn oh, or a ha or an ah, but take a few exhales through the mouth <sighs> and meet it through the day. <sighs> I made it to meditation. <sighs> giving myself a gift right now <laughs> or a giggle is great too we're just resetting the cadence and the rhythm of the mundaneness of your breath through the day or the unnaturalness that build gets built up in the cadence of your breath through your day to just like <sighs> set a reset button for the breath and then when you're ready you're gonna settle into any comfortable seat hands can be anywhere they're comfortable there's no right or wrong with meditation you just want to sit in a space where you can have the spine upright to stay alert and breathe. When you're ready, you're going to close the mouth and start breathing through the nose. I'm just going to take a few breaths here with the eyes closed and soft. setting an intention for this meditation that you will try to let go of the stories, the habitual stories that you have about your body, the negative stories, those little stories we tell ourselves and see if maybe the next 15 minutes you can Find a space of newness, something different, something you haven't seen before in terms of your connection to the body. And you're just settling into the breath. And with each exhalation, you're allowing the body to just relax, to just chill out lay the story down, to let the backpack unpack, to drop the backpack on the ground <laughs> and just be here in the breath, enjoying the simple pleasure you feel in the body when you exhale, that release, that relaxation, that letting go, that ah. And as you focus your awareness and attention on the exhales, with each exhale, maybe letting go of any tautness, any tightness, any readiness to move in the body. We constantly move through our life at the ready, like to move, to do something, to accomplish something. You're just, you have nowhere to go. You can tell your arms and your legs and your feet and your toes and your shoulders and your back, I don't need you to do anything right now. I don't need anything from you right now. You can just relax. Letting go of any of that readiness to move. Maybe moving through the face, the corners of the eyes, the cheekbones, the jawline, just relaxing, letting go. Relaxing any tension around the corners of the eyes, of the cheekbones, of the jawline, of the throat. Just enjoying that simple pleasure of that release on the exhale. Reminding yourself there's nowhere to go. Nobody needs you right now. This is your time. Nothing to do but breathe. Moving through whatever parts of the body you want to. You want to start linearly and start at the head and moving down and just seeing if there's anything to relax, any readiness to move to lay down and let go. In the neck, 
the shoulders, through the arms, the forearms, the biceps, the triceps, the fingertips, just relaxing and letting go. Relaxing through the throat and the neck. Moving into the chest, just feeling the chest rise and fall. Letting go of any readiness to go in the solar plexus or the belly. The belly is a place that we tend to like hold a lot of tension and a lot of negative body image about. This is a time where you get to really love your belly, like you get to let it expand like a big balloon and then it contracts and sinks into the spine. As you inhale, let the belly expand like a big balloon. As you exhale, the belly sinks and contracts and relaxes into the spine. Not holding anything in there, let it be full and round and rich and beautiful. if you can sit in the seat of your pelvic floor, just feeling the organs resting into that area and that space, seeing if there's anything you can let go of, any tautness or tightness there. Moving your attention awareness down to the legs, the thighs, quads, the hamstrings, the knees, the fronts, the back of the knees, the calves, the shins, ankles, soles of the feet and toes, and just starting to feel what am I feeling in my body? What sensations are in my body right now? Without the story, without the judgment, just with curiosity. Maybe you feel a humming or a buzzing or a vibratory sensation. Maybe you feel a heat, maybe you feel a pull like taffy, maybe you feel a stretching, maybe you feel a tingling. Just getting curious about what sensations you're feeling in the body. And even if it's a familiar sensation, we're gonna not attach a label, just let go of the label. Just say, how can I feel this sensation in a different way through a different dimension, a different lens. What's underneath that label? What's underneath? And if you have a hard time connecting to and really feeling the body, the palms of the hands and the soles of the feet are a great place to focus your attention and awareness because there's so much sensation, especially in the fingertips and the palms and the hands. And maybe you just move into the very, very tips of the fingertips. See if there's any sensation in the palms of the hands, soles of the feet. And you have no goal with this meditation. There is no goal, there is no destination. You can lay all the busy thoughts down. Every time a thought pops into your head, or like, what's she doing? Or why are we doing this? Or how long are we gonna? All the, just be a witnessing present. Uh, awareness, witness that. And then let those thoughts come and go. And then when you're ready, turn your awareness and attention to the inhalation. As you inhale, feel the body being animated, fed with nutrient-rich oxygen. Feel that sensation of being satiated. Getting exactly what the body needs and then as you exhale, it's this ah, release, this letting go. Inhaling, feeling that sense of being fulfilled, filled up. And as you exhale, it's just this letting go, not clinging to, not hanging on to. 
In each breath, there is a birth and a death. Life enriching oxygen and a letting go of carbon dioxide and toxins. In every single breath, we get to experience that. We're going to end this meditation with a little bit of metta, love and kindness and compassion for these bodies, for all they do for us 24-7. They fight viruses for us. They get us to point A to point B and back again. We get to move in them. We get to dance in them. We get to hear music through them. We get to see sunsets through them. All oh, the pleasurable, amazing experiencing we get to do in these bodies. We're just going to sit with that sensation of gratitude. Gratitude for the capacity to just sit on your ass and watch the most gorgeous sunset pass through your eyes. Gratitude to sit on the grass at an outdoor concert or in your living room as you put a vinyl record on and just hear the music wash through your ears like waves. The nuance, the dimension, the depth. The ability to go into a yoga class and sit through a stretch and feel your hips open up and feel your shoulders open up and feel the lightness of the body and to feel the instability and the funky and the clunkiness as you do a tree pose and fall over. It's all good, it's all good, it's all <laughs> beautiful. The experience to sit here as you close your eyes and just feel the body just undulating and vibrating, that life inside. And you're going to bring the hands into the heart center and just take a few breaths. And say, thank you, thank you, thank you, you amazing, magnificent body who my entire life has helped me fight viruses and experience illnesses and move through them and be with them and sit with them and to dance and to move and to watch sunsets. Thank you, thank you, you magnificent little machine I get to play in. Thank you. And maybe a little bit of, I'm sorry, I may have been daft and blind to your magnificence or forgotten or dulled by my constant thinking your story about what and who you are. Thank you for being patient with me. <laughs> Thank you for supporting me every day. Mm. Maybe a little bit of, I love you. You bring me joy, this body. I love this body, this little bag of bones. I love being able to experience love, connection, beauty, hope, emotions. Your body allows you to experience all of those. <laughs> wow. I was leaning into that gratitude for your body. Feeling that connection of the palms and the hands on your chest, that little bit of weight, that little bit of anchoring in your body. We get so lost up here in our heads, outside our body, future past, future past, good, bad, right, wrong. It's going to take some time to anchor in the body and just, oh, just fucking enjoy it. <laughs> mm. 
And feel free to stay here in this juicy place as long as you like. When you're ready to come back into the room, take your time, blink your eyes, do it slowly, come in at your own pace. And thank you for joining me today. Have a fabulous day. Enjoy your body. Enjoy all the sense doors. We can only experience pleasure and joy when we fully dive in. When we're holding back or we're holding the story, that's karma. It's an unprocessed, unfully experienced moment. So today, may you feel joy in your little bag of bones. Namaste.